curly one. So this is the look that I'm doing today. It is a very matte white, pink, and purple look. Um, <clears throat> this is the second time that I'm recording this tutorial, believe it or not, because the first time just didn't work out. Um, I guess that happens sometimes though, but I purchased a new one called, a new pigment called Full Force Violet. It might show up blue for you, but it's actually like a really bluish purple. Um, it's a very matte color and I'm very disappointed in it because I hate the way it applies. Um, I bought basic red a long time ago and basic red is perfect. It's so pigmented. You don't even need a base with it. And um, this one here is like quite the opposite. Even with a base, it doesn't seem to work. It does, it's like goes on patchy and I don't know. It's If you try to blend it, you know, pieces just fall away and there's like, it's, I don't know, it doesn't work very well. I don't know. If, if anybody has any tips on using this one, please let me know. Otherwise, I think I may be going back to Mac. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial because a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into it. And uh, yeah, so enjoy. So I've already applied uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance and now I'm going to apply oh, my gosh waterproof eyeshadow stick. I'm going to apply that above my crease, or sorry, to my whole lid and then just above the crease. Now I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going to use my 239 and I'm going to apply Max Gesso to the inner third of my upper lid. So now from the Coastal Sense 88 palette, I'm going to use the brightest pink color and I'm going to apply that to the um, middle third of my eye. If only you could see the mess that my table is at right now. And I'm just going to pat that on. Now I'm just going to use this really dense angled contour brush to um, blend them together and then I'm going to blend out the pink into my brow. Um, you want to be careful because pink can spread really easily into white so... So now that I've blended out the pink, I'm going to use uh, Makeup Forever's number 92. I'm going to apply that to the outer third of my upper lid. With the same angled contour brush, I'm going to um, blend that into the pink now. Now I'm going to line my lower waterline with black liner. And I'm going to use a purple liner now to line my lower lid so that the number 92 can adhere to it. I'm going to take a pencil brush and apply the number 92 to my lower lid. With the same pencil brush, I'm going to apply Max Carbon um, just to the 
just a little bit to the outside here. Then I'm going to apply a little bit more 92 on top of it, just to soften it. And with the same pencil brush, I'm going to apply um, the carbon on just on the outside of my lower lid. Now with um, just like a fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply Max Brulee to highlight my brow bone. Or, yeah, on my brow bone. So now I'm just with an eye liquid liner, I'm just going to um, line my eyes and then I'm going to wing it up uh, quite dramatically. Um, and I'm going to fill it in with uh, Max um, Fluid Line in Black Track. So it turns out I didn't even need to um, use the black track to fill it out because it was so th it's such a thin line. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curl my lashes, apply mascara, uh, put on my eyebrows, apply blush, and my lip gloss, and I'll be back in a second. So this is the finished look. It is um, a very matte pink, purple, and white look. Um, I also used uh, Max Frozen White at the inner corners of my eyes. Um, I use this because I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer. It's like a white with like a iridescent blue tint to it. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy because this tutorial took me forever to record. Um, not your fault, by the way. It's Mac's fault. Um, yeah, so please comment, rate, subscribe. All the products I use there in the sidebar, and uh, hopefully I'll um, see you next weekend.